Hey guys, this is a short video showing you how to get rid of the background of an image. So in my head, I'm thinking that I want this little toy car to be all by itself on a plain color background. So I want to get rid of this ocean background here and just have the toy car. So what I want to do first is obviously import the photo that you want to work with. And then next, I'm going to create my background that I want the toy car to be sitting on. Now maybe your background is another photo and you're merging two photos. In my case, I'm just going to create a shape in the background. So I have my shape created. Uh, I need to make sure that my photograph is on the top layer so that I can see it and work with it. And what we'll be working with is this quick selection tool. It's like the fourth tool down. Now what you'll notice is that if you try to start using the quick selection tool, this white box appears and it says smart object must be rasterized first. Rasterizing just means that you are converting this smart photo, as it is calling itself, into uh, pixels. So it just is flattening it. To do that, all you have to do is right click on this photo in the layers panel and say rasterize. Now it's been flattened and now we can start working with it. So now again in the quick selection tool, you can start selecting what you want to be cropped out. Now you'll notice this quick selection tool didn't do the best job of getting right up close to the edges of the car. If it doesn't do it exactly how you need it, all you need to do is click on the subtract tool and just go in and subtract out the areas and usually it'll hug right close to the object that you want to cut. Okay, there's a rough outline of my shape. Now all I simply have to do, now that I have these dotted lines around my shape, is come down here. This button is called Add Raster Mask. You simply click it, and it adds a mask to your photograph. If you look over here at the layers, you'll see that it links itself, this mask here links itself to the photograph. Now a mask is simply made up of black and white. Now black conceals, so you can see all this black concealed all of the background, and then you'll notice the white is the revealed part. So black conceals and white reveals. Now to fix this up, to go in and get in some, inside all of these areas that I maybe missed, all I have to do is use the paintbrush tool and use black and white. So this is simply just black and white on a mask, on a layer. So right now I've got my paintbrush tool selected. I have black selected down here, and I also have white in the second option. Those are the only two colors we're working with. Now all you have to do, so black conceals, and I want to conceal all this and get rid of it, is go in and just paint. So I'm just using the black paintbrush, and I'm just painting onto this mask over here. And I'm just concealing everything that I want to be hidden. Now say you mess up and you accidentally took away too much of the photograph. All you have to do is select the white. Maybe I want my brush size a little bigger. And white reveals. So black conceals things, white reveals. After you have your photograph all perfectly cropped down, maybe I would want to go in and crop down some of these photos and paint those in, make them look orange. Then what I can do is move this around on the page. I've got the move tool selected. I'm selected in this panel, in this layer. Now I can move this little toy car down to the bottom. I can make it larger or smaller. But that is how you take away the background of an image.